Hi there, Wendell and Barry Shalafu from Slave Lake, Alberta here again. Um, I was just really inspired by your video and uh, your student Camden. So I would just like to kind of ask you if you'd be willing to share a little bit of your experience about the uh, tornado in the Briarwood Elementary School. Yes. Um, well, it happened um, very suddenly. We were, the children came in and um, we were told to take tornado precautions and we always know what to do because we practice that monthly. So I had the kids um, come in and um, duck down and put heads down and bottoms up. And then my friend told me to, that, to look at her iPad and I found out that it might be coming our way. So I looked around the room and I knew that I had to do something more than I'd ever done that day. So I told the kids to get up, get up, and we moved the desk over to the northeast corner. And I said, okay, we're going to play a game. We're going to play the worm. And so I told the kids to get underneath the desks, and we were going to play a game. And so we got under the desk, and I packed them in as tight as I could to the ground. And I got out the musical instruments, and we started playing. Um, he's got the whole world in his hands. And then um, I, could, I was afraid that um, they were going to hear something. So I said, let's sing Jesus Loves Me. And I said, guys, it might get kind of loud. And so I didn't want them. And they said, why? And I go, well, I don't know. It just might get loud. I said, let's just start singing as loud as we can. And if it gets too loud, then you can scream, but not until. And so we kept singing louder and louder. And then finally it got so loud that they started screaming. And I just kept... Um, singing louder and louder and louder and my assistant next to me was praying and I was singing and then it got so brown and then it got black and um, I just kept singing and then it stopped and um, then I stopped and I started calling their names and then once I could hear all their names then I um, knew that we were okay. And, um, it made your life definitely a lot easier at that moment. Yeah, I knew that we were okay. And so then I asked them to count by twos and fives and tens just to try to take their minds off of where we were because I didn't know how long it was going to be. And I was so scared because... Um, during that time, I didn't, I honestly didn't think we were going to make it. And so I just knew I had to keep them safe, and I told them they had all been my heroes. And um, I was just so proud of them for listening because every day we talk about how important it is to listen to grown ups, and they had done exactly what I had asked them to do. Wow. That is such a heartfelt story. Um, I do know, and by speaking to you for the past while, and walking around with you, we were at the record site, we got a picture uh, with the foreground of the school, or we were in the foreground of the school, and we also um, were talking about the children, and I really see that you have a heart for these children. Um, can you explain to me a little bit about your heart for them in your classroom? Um, well, I, I just love children. It's, it's just in me. Um, I think that I go to school every day to take care of them for six and a half hours a day and those six and a half hours a day they are mine and I don't look at them as just the academic you know as to teach them academics but I look at them that I'm in charge of their physical well-being and their spiritual well-being and their educational well-being because I want them to be lifelong learners but everything I say to them affects their spirit and you know, when they end up growing up, it, what, they, what I have done will affect them. And so I want them to know that I love them. And more importantly, I want them to be good human beings in the end. Because it doesn't matter if they can read or write. It matters what kind of human being they are in the end. Wow. Wow. Uh, your student, Camden... He says you're a hero, and I also think you are a hero. In fact, I know you are a hero, and I am so blessed to uh, be here in uh, Oklahoma City to meet this wonderful teacher. Her name is Wynnell Mays, and she's someone special in my heart.
God bless you. Thank you.